I'm sure we've all seen this week John Steenhazen proverbially cocking his leg and marking the Western Cape as DA territory. Why are all the other parties targeting the Western Cape? asked John. But of course, he was asking the wrong question. The DA have done a good job of running the Western Cape, so what he should be asking is why despite that, and despite all the disasters of the ANC national government, is support for the DA in the Western Cape slipping? Because of course the DA are doing immeasurably better than the ANC, but the question is, are they doing enough? And the DA needs to realise that the people of the Western Cape are not stupid. The Western Cape is not some utopia. And the reality is this, that in the last 10 years, one million people have illegally settled land in the Western Cape. The government has done nothing about it. And that's had a devastating effect on the people of the Western Cape. Economic growth over the last decade has averaged 1.1% whilst the population has grown at 1.6% and this simply isn't a sustainable future. John talked about the 300,000 jobs that the DA had been able to create in the Western Cape, but what he didn't say is that the unemployment rate has remained unchanged for a decade and that it's currently 25.6% and a decade ago it was 25.7%. John said, we put up this LEAP officers programme and we've made 27,000 arrests in the last year. What he didn't say, almost none of those people have been convicted. The LEAP programme has been paid by taking a billion rand out of the health and education budget of the Western Cape. That the LEAP programme only operates in Cape Town and if you live in the rest of the Western Cape, you don't benefit from it at all. And despite all of those things, the Western Cape still has the highest murder rate on earth. Now the DA per se is not the problem. We're not an enemies of the DA in any way, shape or form. The problem is the system of government. And Western Cape voters are simply not being governed according to their democratic will. And where the DA becomes the problem is it that it can fix this, but it hasn't. And it won't. And we have to again ask, well, why is that? And the DA leaders themselves have exposed what that problem is. Helen Ziller has said, well, 70% of the DA voters are based outside of the Western Cape. And Alan Windy says, well, I'm South African first when he's asked about a referendum for the Western Cape. And the issue here is that the DA is putting its own political ambitions above the welfare of the Western Cape people. And we've seen that it's broken its promise to give a referendum on Cape independence to the Western Cape people, and it's denied them the opportunity of choosing a different future for themselves. The DA has also refused to bring a bill uh, fighting for Western Cape federalism. Why? Because they said that it must be either federalism for everybody in South Africa or federalism for nobody. And neither of those things are in the Western Cape's best interests. People are not stupid. They can look forward and they can see where all of this will end. And without Cape independence, that's going to end up with the Western Cape eventually looking like the rest of South Africa. And when South Africa fails as a failed state, then the Western Cape, which then still shares the same national government, has no control over its economic policy, has no control over its borders, has no control over its policing, has no control over taxation, and it has no control over how its money is spent. And because it has no control over all of those things, then the Western Cape will fail along with South Africa and people are not stupid. So what they're looking for is other solutions. And that's why you should vote for the referendum party. The referendum party is determined to ensure that the DA-led Western Cape government calls a referendum on Cape independence and allows the Western Cape people the opportunity to determine their own future a future that isn't under ANC rule, that isn't under the risk of an ANC EFF MK solution, but guarantees us a crack at living in a first world country where everybody, regardless of their race, religion and culture, can prosper. Thank you.